NC State, you know, they're a very talented team. Um, they're well coached. They do a lot of different things well. But we know they come out and they play aggressively at home. And, um, they got off to an aggressive start. We were able to chip away and claw back into it um, for a little bit of that period in the first half. And, um, you know, I thought the biggest difference was on Markel Johnson. You know, we, we, he got off to a really good start and um, ignited them and did a good job throughout the rest of the ball game. Questions for Coach? Daniel, what do you do done differently on Markel that you wish you had done or, or anything? I mean, he's a very good player. He made a couple tough shots. Uh, got to the free throw line. You know, he, he just did a lot of good things really well for him, um, just in terms of his aggressiveness. And not always shooting the ball, but, but pushing the ball up the court and um, attacking the defense and then getting the ball reversed and getting good ball movement. But, you know, he made some really good plays off ball screens where he, he was in tight situations and, and made some, some really – Tough plays, but you still got to try to slow them down more than what we did, and we we're able to do that enough tonight. Is it a matter of personnel on him, or um, you could say that? But I mean, once a guy gets going, it's hard to slow him down. It's just once he finds that offensive rhythm. It's, it's tough to slow guys down. And he found his offensive rhythm very early and um, was able to continue that throughout the ball game. Danny, it seemed like seemed like early NC State kind of crashed the boards, and I think they took like a nine to one rebound advantage on you. It seemed like after that first TV timeout, you kind of collected the guys and got them to focus a little bit more on that. What was going on early, and, and were you surprised at how aggressive the Wolfpack were on the boards? No, we knew we were going to be aggressive. You know, we, we, we didn't hit bodies hold the box out. You know, it's one thing to hit, and then it's another thing to hold, and it's another thing to go get. And, um, you know, I thought Torn Dorn got free a couple times to to go get some offensive rebounds early, which we knew he was going to do. And we got to do a better job of putting the body on guys and then going to pursue balls ourselves. I know Jalen was able to play a good chunk of the first half with two fouls. Is that one of the reasons you left him in there after he got his third? Um, just the flow of the ball game. You know, we're, we're down a man, down a big, before we get in and out. And, um, you know, those things happen in terms of, you know, putting yourself in foul trouble from time to time. But it was just a couple of them that just, just not in the right place at the right time. And they made him pay for it with some of those earlier fouls. And that catches up to you towards the end of the ball game. It was one of the ones where he was in the wrong place, the fourth one. So, you know, we've got to, he's just got to do a better job of understanding the situation, playing defense with his head and his feet, and putting his body in the right spot. How much did uh, Olivier not playing impact what you wanted to do? And then as a follow-up, uh, what did you like about what Sunday did today? You know, obviously we miss Olivier's presence. You know, he, he makes guys change shots at the rim with his height and length. And then offensively, you know, we, we, we missed him just catching the ball, being able to face up and get off a, a shot of some sort. He's been doing that really well. I thought Sunday was terrific. I thought he came in. I, I, I thought he played hard, rebounded the ball well. Scored when he got the opportunity. I, I was very pleased and, and happy with Sunday's minutes. Yeah, this was the second time in the last three that you guys have given up 90 plus points. What needs to change on that end of the floor for you guys? Um, well, well, obviously, it's knowing where guys are at, knowing who the shooters are. You know, Markel Johnson, I mean, he made quite a Couple times we were there guarding them, but we weren't really guarding them. You know, we were there, we were in front of them, but we didn't take away airspace, and he was able to rise up and, and make some shots, and we would contest after the fact. Um, and that's pretty good defense on an average player. He's not an average player, you know, and, and uh, so we've got to do a better job of recognizing that and taking away his airspace and making him put the ball down on the ground. But when we did make him put it down on the ground, he made plays in those situations too. 
Anything else for Coach? Thank you.